What's going on guys, it's your boy Omega, AKA Rob Lee. Um, about to do another video. This is, so first of all, I watched a bunch of First Take, I watched a bunch of Stephen A, I watched a bunch of Max Kellerman, Skip Bayless back in the day, all that shit, right? And y'all know, um, KD just signed with the Nets. I don't watch too much basketball, but you know, I know a little bit, hold up. Yeah, I know, I know a little bit about it. Um, not too much, not too much at all. Um, no, I mean, yeah, yeah, I still know, but I just don't watch it. I mean, I barely watch the, the playoffs and I kind of watch the finals. Like, that's really how I am at basketball. But I still know the players and I still know stuff only because I watch first take a lot. This man, Stevie A, is funny as hell. He is sick. He's a Knicks fan. And the Knicks was, first of all, the Knicks, they, um, they were supposed to have gotten, the, well, they, everybody was hoping that they, they got the first pick in the draft so they could draft Zion. They missed out on Zion. Stephen A was sick. Now they also were supposed to sign at least KD. At least KD. But they end up not only losing out KD, they lose out Kyrie Irving. Both of them go to the neighbors. The neighbors, the Brooklyn Nets. And DeAndre Jordan who's, uh, I guess, one of the Knicks' best players, he left till they lost one of their best players. He's also going to the Nets, to the neighbors down the street, down the block, and the Knicks are just back where they at. The Knicks suck. The Knicks horrible. But, um, yeah, let's get into this video. This is a reaction of yesterday's now. Here's the thing about first take, and honestly, I don't think I'll see too many people do first take videos and stuff. I don't know how Disney is with their stuff online and using their videos. I don't know if this is going to get taken down. It might. Um, I'm just going to keep pausing it and out just to see. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. From the Knicks, this is a couple of days ago. So this is a couple of days ago. So um, this is when Stephen A found out that the Knicks lost out on KD. So let's get into it. I need to bring in the greatest Knicks fan I know, uh, Stephen oh, A. Oh, shit. <laughs> 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 Here we go. Here we go. I was supposed to ask you if this is something, nothing, or everything. I can tell by your face. It's not nothing. Oh, my God. <laughs> you know, um... <laughs> oh, man. Stephen A, man. Stephen A has the best expressions, has the best on TV personality that you can think of, like... This man is hilarious. I can't even put the words my level of disgust, frustration, oh, shit. and beyond. Obviously, weeks ago, we all got, you know, indications. It, it wasn't just me. It was Ramona who does a great job. I can't say enough about the job you guys have done just as a show. Brian, I mean, everybody, you guys have been fantastic. But despite the obvious, <laughs> I was holding out hope that, you know what, Kyrie and KD might not go to Brooklyn after all. Oh, that man. they might come to New York City, that they might bless us with their presence, and we might have a star for, for the first I should be drinking this water, you know, it's about to spit out, but. Time in quite a while. I don't wanna hear about Patrick Ewan. I don't want to hear about Carmelo Anthony. I don't want to hear about Bernard King. I mean, that's how far back I got to go, y'all. I mean, it's been that bad. I didn't want to hear all about that. I was holding out hope. But then when you put into perspective that you lose out on KD or you lose out on Kyrie, you know what? That's bad enough. But it's not just that. It's KD, it's Kyrie, it's Kawhi, it's Klay Thompson, it's mm. Jimmy Butler, mm, it's mm, everybody mm. for crying out loud. Mm, and mm, then they mm. had the nerve to get on my damn nerves by bringing up Boogie Cousins as if that was going to suffice. And I, I mean, I immediately picked up the phone, y'all, and called the Knicks. Yo, so that's just the Knicks right there, yo. The, the, that's just the Knicks. Like, that's what they do. They don't they don't go after the big players. In fact, you can you can um you know they're, they're just the Knicks, man. Oh hell no. He better not, <laughs> that better not be your consolation. I know exactly what I said to him. I said this is not a call asking for anything. This is a call telling you as an organization that you better not even think about trying to sell Boogie Cousins to us in New York City. <laughs> not to knock Boogie Cousins because Boogie when he's healthy, we know he could drop 28 and 12 in his sleep. But he ain't the answer we were looking for in free agency. And I was assured at least that wouldn't happen. But as we sit here today, 
reflecting on the state of affairs in New York. And me said it best. It's not, it's, it, it's bad enough that you don't have Kyrie and you don't have KD. But both of them went 20 minutes away. <laughs> Atlantic Avenue. To the wrong place in there instead of Yo, like, what was I about to say? What was I about to say? Um, I just had a thought, man. You know, you got the thoughts in your head, man. Um, ah, right, fuck it. It'll come back. Madison Square Garden. And I'm looking at Sean Marks, who's done a fabulous job for the Nets. I'm looking at Kenny Atkinson, who's done a fabulous job. And let's not ignore mm -hmm. Live Nation. Because That's what I was going to say. So, what I was about to say is, like, basketball is different than football. Like, in football, we have free agency, but it doesn't matter. Football is more of a gamble in free agency. Because there'd be so many free agent busts. You know, you have players that's really good in certain systems and can't go into a different system and do the same things that they did in that system. And almost always, and even if a free agent does well, he's never really as good as he was when he was on a previous team. I always noticed that. Like, even somebody like, for example, Anquan Bolden. Like, Anquan Bolden came from the Cardinals and came to the Ravens, my team. And although he went off, his stats did drop a little bit. He got a little older. He wasn't as explosive or fast. I mean, you look at Anquan Bowler early in his career, he was running 70 yards down the field. Um, he wasn't that type of player no more. So a lot of factors. Well, with basketball, it's not a gamble to go for KD and pay him, you know, $100, 200000000 million. Um, it's not a gamble to go for Kyrie Irving and pay him $150 million. It's not a gamble. You, For some reason, basketball, your skills translate. You can, as a player, can take over a game. You can, as a player, make a team go from worst to first immediately if you're that good of a player. So um, if this was like football or something and, you know, I'm you know, we bitching about, you know, the Ravens not getting to Roe Owens or the Ravens not getting Des Bryant or something, like, yeah, but it could have been a gamble at the same time. But I can feel Stephen A's pain. The Knicks needed KD. The Knicks needed Kyrie Irving because other than that, they're going to be the worst team again. And you're talking about a sport where more than half the league goes to the playoffs. And you can't be one of those teams ever. Like, in who knows how long. Since they had Tyson Chandler, since they had Melo in and, and that time, and they still wasn't even that good. It's crazy. Because uh, you're back in those brothers, the twin brothers. You remember, yep. his brother, is, his, his twin brother is running Live Nation. Don't think for one second <laughs> they didn't have everything to do with what has been transpiring here with Kyrie and KD going to the Brooklyn Nets. Mm -hmm. But in the end, you're the New York Knicks, and not only did you lose out, but you lost out to Brooklyn. And then what do you do? You uh -oh. sit up there and you, you you send Ramona and Woj information. Well, we weren't going to give him the max anyway. How stupid mm. can you be? Well, that was my question, Stephen A. Do you have a bigger problem with the fact that, that they didn't, that they, well, I don't even understand the logic in that. I mean, like I just said just now, like, there's not a gamble. There's no gamble involved. KD, unless he gets hurt, is going to be the best player in the world. There's no gamble. But what for? I, I, there's so many things I need to ask you. What do you think of the bad fact that they didn't want to offer him the max when, mm, mm, as the guys here pointed out on set, the team with the most information about his medicals, the Warriors, were willing to offer him that full five-year max? Right. And also, what do you think about the fact that they I, made it public? That they didn't offer him the Yeah, that's silly. Well, first of all, first, first of all, making it public is Bush League. It's emblematic of what we've thought about the New York Knicks. I thought the Steve Mills Scott Perry era was supposed to be a bit different. This is a James Dolan caliber mistake, but we know James Dolan isn't the one that put this out there. Yeah. I'm looking at the president of basketball operations, Steve Mills. Why the hell would that statement be publicized? Makes no sense whatsoever. It looks bad. I can't ignore that. But more importantly, I think they're lying. Because the fact of the matter is, is that as recently as a week ago, although they wanted to get the medical report, I went right on first take and I reported that the New York Knicks are hesitant to offer the max deal until they get a hold of the medical report. Mm -hmm. So it's one thing to sit up there and say, we just want to dot our I's, cross our T's and make sure that his health is fully in place before we make the max offer. It's another thing entirely for literally minutes after losing out on him to Brooklyn, your position is, well, we didn't want 
support him anyway because we were not we we were worried about his health. Excuse me, a career 27 point per game scorer. All of y'all know basketball. This is not a dude whose success is predicated simply on his athleticism. Mm -hmm. If it were Russell Westbrook, a Derrick Rose back in the day, or right. somebody like that, it would be different. But 6'11 with a 7'6 wingspan, who's a sniper, who's a two-time champion, a reigning two-time finals MVP. Yeah. I'm sorry, you can't rely on that dude to yeah. be better than what you have had yeah. when you're the New York Knicks and you've had nothing for years? Real, real. And you can say what you want about KD. You can say, oh, he he sold out. He did sell out. He did. He, he sold a soul. You know, he did what he needed to do. He went to the enemy team. But at the end of the day, it is, doesn't negate the fact that he is the best player in the world when it comes to basketball. And he's the best NBA player. So that means he is the best player in the world. Like, um, you can't deny that. Can't deny it. Please, it's a joke that they would even put that statement out there. And it's really sad. Mm. Thanks for watching. Yeah, man, that's that was, uh, once again, that was uh, Stephen A goes off about the Knicks. <laughs> <laughs> Stephen A, like, that's, like, I, I'm going to do more Stephen A videos for sure. Like I said, unless Disney shut this shit down. Um, like I said, I don't see too many reaction videos for ESPN, so I'm just taking a gamble. Um, we'll see. Other than that, guys, peace out. Have a good one.